Okay, so where to start? So I haven't made videos. I made a video and then I said I was going to make some, and then I haven't because I've let myself get wrapped up in my own shit. So then I finally get out of my shit, wrapped out of my own shit, and then the world's shit and other people's shit wants to hit me. Um, so then it almost brings me right back to where I was at before, but fuck that, it ain't happening. Um, but it brings me to the thoughts of this. Okay, there's two different things that happen in this world. There's our shit that we create, and then there's this world shit, all right? The world shit is already fucking bad enough that we have to deal with, that we're bombarded with. But then we all go around and we create our own fucking shit that's worse than their shit that self-destructs our whole world. Now granted, their shit is a good reason why we destroy our own shit, yes. But see, those of us that are in this enlightened community and those that are aware of what is going on, see, so you know the difference between the two. You know their shit and our shit, okay? So, you know, life is great and peachy and we all want it to be roses. But I'm not here to tell you, but this world is not going to let it be that way because that's the way this realm is right now. Okay, and until you understand that, that this realm is not going to stop. Yes, you're going to have your high moments. Yes, you can control whatever you want to control. Yes, yes, but... Where the delusion lies is when one's self comes into this. Yeah, you can control the, all the factors. You can as many of the factors around you as possible. But the only one controlled factor that you have beyond a shadow of a doubt is your own self. So when you destroy your own self and your own worth and your own whatever you perceive yourself as over and over and over and over again, without even the world's influence on you, how are you supposed to overcome that? When you cling on to the excuses that this world has created, how are you going to reach the next level of things? There are no more excuses. You own your shit or you don't. If you don't own your shit, you're buying into this world. It's that simple. Yeah, we're going to fuck up. We're not going to make the right choices always because of our programming it's pretty plain and simple we have not been off the juice long enough get it therefore you're gonna have issues you're gonna have problems you're gonna have setbacks but that doesn't change who you are and you know who you are so when you change that perspective and you change what you already know not only do you cause conflict around you you cause internal conflict because your subconscious and your conscious mind both know and know without a doubt who you are, but you want to hold on to the excuses of this world and make that your crutch. It's no different than the sheep of this world. There are no excuses. You own it or you don't. And when you don't, you live in this world. And for those of you and us who are in this community of the no, supposedly should have this figured out by now. All of that shit that is out there that is portrayed on that TV screen or mostly 90% of the YouTube and other computer screen stuff other than those that are true at heart is bullshit. It has truth sprinkled. It has truth with Tons of shit and propaganda sprinkled through it. One way or another. It's one way or another to keep your mind occupied and in the wrong direction. But that's up to us as individuals. Like I was saying at the start of this video, I've let others' energies and my own shit keep me in my shit and keep me from doing what I need to do. And here's another thing in this world that we seem to forget. Just because things are going great doesn't mean they're going to go great forever because that's the way it is. And that's where the tests lie. That's where the true, gro true growth lies is when, you, when you're riding high and all of a sudden the bottom of the rug gets pulled out of you. How are you going to react next? How? 
That's the test. That's how you move on. That is how you progress. How are you going to handle that next thing? Then we want to hamper ourselves. Not only the, do, do, do we take this shit that the world hands at us and throws at us as a, an excuse to not, then we throw in our own shit that we don't want to admit to or we don't want to look at or we don't want to deal with. Well, guess what? If you've chosen this path, you don't have a choice no more. You do walk away. Walk away, but good luck because you've done already know the answers. You already know the truths. Your subconscious and your conscious mind know this. Even though you don't may not see it in your conscious mind because you want to throw your blocks up. Your blocks that they put in place. But you can see them. What are we doing? Nobody's doing. Talk about self-growth all you want. But are you doing for your own self? Are you doing? Is it true self-growth? Is it true to yourself and who you are <laughs> and this isn't just about all me 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 I I I I I it's not you're gonna be standing alone if that's what you think all alone and never finding true growth I don't want to stand alone we don't sacrifice those around us for the betterment of ourselves, for the growth of our own self. We make the sacrifices that we have to around those and with those that are around us to help everybody grow. We make those sacrifices and we don't bitch and complain, we just do it. We do it. We grin and bear it, we fucking bite the shit, shit sandwich, we chew it, we swallow, and we move the fuck on. Because that's what you have to do here. If you don't, it's going to eat you the fuck up. And you have to stay moving. You have to stay doing. You don't stay doing, then you're just stewing in your shit. You're, you're just no better than a pig wallowing out in the fucking pen. No wonder Jesus said don't throw fucking pearls to swine. Because you're the same thing. If you're not doing, why should I waste my energy? I want to give. I want to give all I have to everyone. But when those around don't want to do the same, it's all about I, 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 me, me, me. That's not what this is. The I is a small part of it. Look, I have grown so much in the past year. And it's hard to talk to people because even those in the awakened community because you have to step past this shit. We know it's there, but you, you acknowledge it and you move the fuck on. You deal with it, you move on. And the same way with the good times. They're not going to last forever, so you enjoy them and you move on. And don't bring the bad shit that's behind you. Don't drag it back up with you. You done moved on from it. Why? To use it as an excuse, a crutch? What growth is that? It's not. It's hollow. It's fake. I just want to see us all grow and become more than we are. And we're just eating each other alive. And then that feeds everybody else's weaknesses. And then they self-destruct in internally and then around themselves. There's no growth. There's no true enlightenment. It's more excuses. Hang it on to this, that, and the other. It's a matter of doing. Either you do or you don't. <laughs> when you know the rules, when you know certain things, it's what it is. We, that's what 
as it, when we teach our children the rules, when they know the rules and understand the rules, what we just to just let it go. So that I mean, I mean, really, because if you do, then what what, what does the child learn? Nothing, nothing at all. Oh, I won't get in trouble for that. There's no repercussions. Everything has a repercussion. Everything has a... There's a balance here. Pick up a magnet if you don't fucking realize what it is. Pick up a compass. There's always a balance. Pick up a level. There's always some... Look at water. It's always trying to find level. A balance. It's everywhere. It's all around us. There's a high and a low and a high and a low. But because that's the frequency of this place right now. It's a chaotic one. The only one you can control is your own. And then the minute you make an excuse, you give up your free will. The minute you don't hold on to and own your shit and don't waller in it, the moment you give that up, the moment you use that as your crutch, it's the moment you give up your free will. And this place starts taking from you. It's, a, it's an intricate thing like a fucking diamond. The facets of a diamond. There's so many different things here. And we're not taught. It's not our fault. But when you start to know, you know. And then there's no excuse. That's what this world wants. Why do you think there's a hundred million excuses for everything there is in this world? And it's all to dismiss free will. All of it. And guess what? You can't make somebody own their shit. You got a grudge, you got a... Somebody did you wrong. Guess what? Just don't deal with them no more. If you deal with them again then, and you know they're going to do you wrong, then why deal with... That's your on you. I have no sympathy for that shit. But... It's not about giving up. It's not what I'm saying. It's not... I'm talking about true harm to you. Okay? Words are powerful, but they are not a weapon. They do not cut this body. And they don't hurt your soul unless you let it. Just like every single single thing in this world, it doesn't hurt you unless you let it. Unless you put yourself in that position. Most of the stuff we're going through is just a feeling. I feel this way or I feel that way. You know what feelings are? Energy. And you're not using it. We're told it's this, that, and the other because they don't want us to deal with it. Those negatives that come into us, they don't want us to know how to deal with that. How to use that energy in the proper way. No, they want us to uh, go to counseling, take these pills, da 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 That doesn't fix the problem. That just holds that energy in you longer, if not Permanently until you decide to let it go. Those pills help all that. Hold on. All that shit. All those excuses. There used to be a time in this world where there wasn't an excuse for nothing. You chose what you did and you stood in what you did. And if you didn't, then you were considered scum. Now it's praise, oh, it's a, it's a sickness, it's this, that, and the other. No, it's excuse after excuse not to have to deal with this world and deal with what we are and who we are and distractions from all that. You can't tell my voice, I'm pretty fired up today. We all need to man and woman up and do our fucking part. 
Yeah, it isn't easy when everybody else around you is not doing it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it wholeheartedly. And a lot of this talk is for myself too. Biggest message I want out of this is that don't don't sacrifice those around you. Make the sacrifices yourself. And if it isn't worth it, then move the fuck on. Or stick it out if you feel that's what you need to do. But don't bitch about it. Don't complain. Don't make it worse. Don't sacrifice the ones around you. Some of you get exactly what I'm saying. Some of you will have no idea what I'm saying. I needed to voice this. I needed to get this out. I'm going to end this now because i got to get to work. I wasted half my fucking day with my energies fucking wallering in my own shit. My shit and other people's shit that I let fucking hold on to me. And we all are doing it. We all gotta quit. Just let it go. Move the fuck on. Deal with what's in front of you. You can't always choose the exact every little fucking detail you want. Make the best of it. Make the best of every situation you have. Don't bitch and complain and fucking deal with it and let's go and do the work we have to do. Truly do the work. Not just say it. Not just pretend. Not just put on an act. You do. You do and you do and you do and you do and eventually, guess what? It's second nature. <coughs> the other way is never again. You'll become appalled at doing it the other way. But if you don't do, you'll never, it'll never happen. Never happen. You'll only have pipe dreams and illusionary imagination. But that's what this world wants you to have. The illusions of Oz. The man behind the curtain. Anyway. I want y'all to have a blessed freaking day. Shine bright. Even if that brightness is a fire that's burning at people. And they don't like it and it's blinding. Who cares? Who cares? You're not causing them harm. You're not causing them physical harm. You're not degrading them. You're shining your light. You're being you. And if they can't handle that, then too bad. That's their problem, not yours. Anyway. Peace, love, and bubblegum. Till we talk again, y'all take care. Bye now.